How do you feel about using particular forms of punctuation in the feedback that you give to your students? particularly exclamation marks and question marks. Are you somebody that likes to pepper them liberally throughout all of the comments in the script? Or are you somebody that likes to keep it austere and professional and clean? In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the opportunities, but also some of the pitfalls of using and overusing exclamation marks and question marks. And we'll start off by saying, that these forms of punctuation are, of course, very useful as a way of adding some emotion, adding some feeling to the written word. When I'm given feedback, I like to try and give a sense of me. I like to try and give a sense of there is another person at the end of this feedback. And punctuation can be a really good way of doing that. It conjures up images of how the person might be saying that. It can help someone to interpret what you mean by that feedback. So it's a way of perhaps shaping the inner feedback that students give themselves by using exclamation marks and using question marks. And importantly, it can also encourage self-reflection. So if you consider a comment like this, if you took out the punctuation, it would be me telling you what to do. Whereas by adding in some question marks, this becomes an active introduction. This becomes an active way of bringing you in to the comments that I am making. So we move from a telling model to a guiding model or to a supporting model. But there is a word of warning about overusing punctuation. And I'd like you to look at these particular comments. You may have given comments like this in the past, and you will have received comments like this on your own work in the past. And we'll refer to these as, as overusing punctuation. Where this sort of feedback is more problematic is it can send the wrong message to students. So when overuse of punctuation is also paired with a very generic comment, it can lead to a really ambiguous statement. And because we have that inherent negative bias, we are more likely to read a statement like this in a negative way, that someone's unhappy with the work or someone's disappointed with the work, rather than in a positive way. So this is a reminder to check yourself when you're rereading through your, your feedback just before you submit it. How are you using punctuation? When you are using punctuation, if it's paired with a generic comment, please question that. Either take it back or add some more embellishments to that to explain to the student what you mean. Because what you don't want to do is for a student to misinterpret the work and perhaps be put off or be more likely to disengage or feel demoralized by what you're saying. So be cautious about overusing punctuation. Another little question mark that we might add in just to finish this off as a, with a little bonus is how people use emojis. And there's several papers that have been written recently about the use of emojis in feedback and how this can increase the sense of an ethic of care. Again, it's a way of me trying to bring myself into the feedback. So it's adding some context and it's adding some emotion. And Moffat argues that this can be less intimidating and that it also increases the sense of warmth and even competence of how students will perceive that. So if you fancy adding in a little smiley face every now and then, then Moffat would argue that this can be a positive addition to your feedback. But we again need to be cautious when we're using emojis. It, depending on particular cultures or particular generations, it can give the sense of there being an unprofessional nature to the feedback. So you want to make sure that the context is right and that students will interpret that in the way that you're intending. So with both punctuation and emojis, these absolutely have their place. And there's some great research that suggests that they can help students to understand and engage with their feedback. But just be careful about overusing them.